With GP 2015, the employee self-service features are now completely contained inside Dynamics GP. GP 2013 release 2 included the employee self-service for time entry, and GP 2015 adds the remaining features of the ability to view your pay stubs, to view and update your direct deposit, skills and training, profile, your W-4, and also to view your benefits. These functions are part of the basic Dynamics GP package. Workflows, which initially appeared in GP 2013 Release 2 for time entry, have also been added for the balance of the employee self-service functions. In order to use the employee self-service features, the employee will need to be set up in Dynamics GP as either a limited user or the new self-service user. This user will then be linked to the employee payroll record. Users will also be able to access GP through a web client as well. Let's take a quick look at those new functions. If we go to the pay stubs, the employee will be able to come in here and find a paycheck that they want to get the stub for, select that paycheck, and select print, and be able to get a copy of the pay stub. In direct deposit, the employee can come in and make changes to their banking information or even add new accounts for direct deposit. In the employee's skills and training, the employee can make modifications or changes to their education. There's also a tab for test where if there are required tests that you have or skills that you want your employees to have that you want to track their certifications and so forth. Or there is also a tab that shows the history of the training, and if they have specific courses that need to be completed, you can check those here. The employee also has the ability to go in and update their profile, where they can make changes to their address, uh, changes to their emergency contacts, add or remove dependents, and then also view a history of the positions that they've held in the organization. Another feature is the W-4 the employee can go in and see a history of their changes to their W-4, but more importantly, can also view a current W-4 and also make modifications here to the uh, number of deductions and so forth uh, if they want to make those changes. They also can get a view of their benefits, and this is the uh, view that you might be familiar with if you were using the old uh, business portal, where the employee can see what the, uh, the uh, benefits are that they're receiving from the employer and also their deductions for their benefits. All of these functions are also linked to the new workflows. For instance, if the employee makes a change in their profile, for instance, if they wanted to add a middle initial in here, as soon as I tab off that, you'll notice that the submit button for the workflow becomes enabled and the employee can then submit the, the change for an approval process that you have established in your workflow. If you have the extended HR package, one of the additional benefits that your employees will have is the ability to do benefit enrollments. If we go to the HR and payroll page, you'll see here that they have an, an option now to select benefit enrollments. Once here, if you have any open enrollments enabled, the employee will have the ability to select their open enrollment and select enroll and we'll bring them up the, the necessary screens that they have. And depending on the uh, setups that you have in your enrollment, they will have the uh, options available then for the benefits that they can select. We're going to cover this in a little bit more detail in a separate video, but I just wanted to make sure that you understood that this functionality was here. As you can see, GP 2015 and the employee self-service features offer the ability of your employees to update and submit their employee data, taking some of the burden off of your HR department. If you'd like more information on that, please contact Turnkey and we'd be glad to assist you. Thanks.